At UFC 306, Marab Devalishvili shocked the MMA world with a dominant performance over Sean O'Malley to claim the bantamweight title. The event, held on September 14, 2024, in Las Vegas, saw Devalishvili, 18-4 MMA, 11-2 UFC, outclass O'Malley, 18-1 MMA, 10-1 UFC, in a five-round fight that ended with a unanimous decision in favor of the Georgian fighter. Many, including former UFC bantamweight champion TJ Dillashaw, were surprised by how easily Devalishvili dismantled the defending champion. Devalishvili, known for his relentless pace and aggressive style, applied constant pressure on O'Malley, effectively neutralizing the striking prowess for which Sugar is well known. Devalishvili's wrestling, combined with his never-ending cardio, overwhelmed O'Malley, preventing him from finding his rhythm or landing any significant shots. This resulted in O'Malley struggling to maintain his usual distance and striking angles, which many expected would be his key to victory. TJ Dillashaw, who had closely followed the fight, shared his thoughts on the bout during an appearance on the Jackson podcast. Dillashaw, a two-time UFC bantamweight champion, admitted that while he knew Devalishvili had the potential to cause problems for O'Malley, he was surprised by how dominant Marab appeared throughout the fight. It's not that I didn't expect it, Dillashaw said. I knew the fight was close on the betting odds, and I knew Marab had a chance to pressure the F asterisk CK out of him. The guy is like the Tasmanian devil. He never stops and continues to shoot takedowns. I thought it was a possibility, but I didn't think it would be this easy for him. Marab made O'Malley look very weak. Dillashaw elaborated on why he initially believed O'Malley could win the fight, pointing to O'Malley's previous displays of composure and technical ability. I thought O'Malley would be able to keep the distance, use his feints, and control the range. He's always done well on his feet, using angles and footwork to avoid takedowns, and I thought he'd be able to spark Marab at some point, Dillashaw explained. However, O'Malley was never able to find that opportunity, as Devalishvili's relentless pace kept him on the back foot throughout the bout. Despite the one-sided nature of the fight, Dillashaw isn't writing off O'Malley for a potential rematch. O'Malley has the skills to beat this guy. He just didn't use them, Dillashaw said. You can feign to freeze him, get outside his shoulder, so the takedowns aren't there. I think O'Malley can definitely win if he adjusts his game plan next time. Devalishvili's victory over O'Malley adds another impressive name to his resume, which already includes wins over former champions such as Jose Aldo, Petr Yan, and Henry Cejudo. Known for his relentless cardio and suffocating pressure, Devalishvili has quickly become one of the most feared fighters in the bantamweight division. His ability to outwork and outgrapple even elite-level strikers was on full display against O'Malley. The fight marked O'Malley's second attempt to defend his bantamweight title after winning the belt in a stunning knockout victory over Aljamain Sterling in August 2023. He successfully defended the title once, defeating Marlon Vera in a rematch earlier this year. Before UFC 306, O'Malley had only suffered one career loss, a controversial TKO due to an injury against Vera in 2020. While O'Malley now faces questions about his ability to handle the relentless wrestling pressure of fighters like Devalishvili, his talent and striking skills ensure he will remain a top contender in the division. A rematch between the two could certainly happen in the future, but for now, the attention shifts to Devalishvili's next opponent, which many expect to be undefeated Phenom Umar Nurmagomedov. The Dagestani fighter, known for his grappling skills and undefeated record, could provide another intriguing test for the newly crowned champion. Devalishvili's dominant win over O'Malley cements his status as one of the most dangerous fighters in the bantamweight division, and the UFC world eagerly awaits to see how his title reign unfolds.